When you're an 18-year-old dog and your owner takes you on a car ride to all your favorite places and lets you eat whatever you want. <laughs> I'm in danger. I graduated from law school six years ago with $250,000 in student loan debt. But after years of hard work and tens of thousands of dollars of payments, I can officially say that I only own $315,000. Hooray. Thank you, student loans, for getting me through college. I don't think I'll ever be able to repay you. Ha ha ha. Haha, ha, someday, son, you'll be big enough to carry me around. <laughs> to death to us part was much easier when we died of the plague of age 23. Doctor, it hurts when I do this. Do what? Exist. That is so fucking relatable. Did you just spend $100,000 to get a 40k job? Lamau. This ad on the train is going to trigger some people, Lamal. Man, I, I just, I really do feel sorry for Americans. Uh, the, the, the college system over there is a bit broken. I am sorry. Basically, single at 32 just means I statistically avoided my first divorce. I, I think our generation does rush into relationships a bit too much, and I think that does contribute to it, but I think there's a larger problem there. Replica of the Titanic will set sail in 2020. Iceberg. Bold of you to assume there will be icebergs by 2020. Bold of you to assume there will be humans by 2020. Okay, son, throw the dart and wherever it lands, we'll do that, okay? Funk, funk, yay! It's all your fault, son. <laughs> These cyanide and happiness fucking comic panels, they're fucking dark, bro. I'm a grown 20-year-old male and I still sleep with my stuffed bear. I've had him since I was a small child. I love him so much, he's ugly, but so comforting. And he's perfect as a pillow. I'm 22. Still sleep with the teddy bear my dad brought me the day I was born. Rest in peace, dad. I-22. I'm dad. <laughs> Fucking dad joke spot, man. Jesus Christ, that is- that is not good. Dad, there's a loser under my bed. Heaven. Me after dying. We need to talk. Is this about the micro- This is about the micro- What the fuck, dude? Yes, it's about the fucking micro penis. Start the year with an empty jar. And fill it with notes of all the good things that happen. On New Year's Eve, empty it and see what awesome stuff happened that year. Wow, you're so mature for your age. Thanks, it was the trauma. Oh my god, this is so sad. Alexa, play Despacito at max volume. That episode of SpongeBob where he procrastinates writing his essay and he's only capable of writing the word V and eventually burns his house down really foreshadows college. Boy, I know the fucking feeling. I've been working on a script for a video for like two days now and I'm barely like a quarter of the way through. Feels good, man. Things are going great. Heart? Heart, turn around. Nope. I'm going to get to pitch someday. You're 81. Someday is now. <laughs> I've never wanted to pet because they die and then you have to grieve. I've done too much grieving already. So now I get a pet and they will outlive me. I don't have to grieve. You aren't wrong. What kind of pet do you want? Goldfish. My dad's been doing that challenge for 17 years. Today is the day we take the stairs. <laughs> I know global warming is bad, but wouldn't it be kind of funny if dinosaurs made humans go extinct? Turns out I wasn't pregnant. I just had a fever and that online survey I did was a scam to get pictures of my gyna and butthole. So I'm selling my crib on Craigslist. DM me for details. Picks up crying baby. It's okay, buddy. When you grow up, you'll learn how to do this on the inside. God fucking damn it, bro. $20 to any girl who doesn't have a flower tattoo on their thigh. $20 to any guy who used there, there, and there correctly in a sentence. Can I have my 20 bucks, please? You're gonna be- you're gonna be millions and millions of dollars in debt. I feel sorry for that promise. I feel sorry for the both of you. What poison can kill someone the slowest and most painfully? Life. Fucking damn it, dude. That is so fucking accurate. People said the world ending in 2012 was fake, but... Has anyone felt alive since then? <laughs> Why do you do this to me? <laughs> is it drinking alone if you're pregnant? It is if you keep drinking. Oh dear god. Was that, was that a bit too dark? I don't know, I, I don't have a filter, I don't know. My stepfather combined, that's a tough nut to crack and that's a hard pill to swallow. And ended up saying, that's a tough nut to swallow. And I haven't functioned properly since I heard him say it. Use a tasty sperm dispenser says, no one has ever said that to me. Why the f- <laughs> Why- I- I don't- That username though. 
If you're ever worried you're not going to get a New Year's Eve kiss, just remember that Valentine's Day is in 45 days, and you're probably going to be alone for that too. <laughs> I feel like this subreddit is dead set on making me feel like shit just 24-7. And it's working! It is, it is working! How you doing? I'm terrible. Hope to see you soon. Love, Jeremy. I feel like if people didn't lie on their Christmas cards, this is what it would be. Do you ever make eye contact with a girl walking down the street, and she's so beautiful you know you're going to think about it for the rest of the day? Meanwhile, she was probably like, wow, I didn't know goblins existed in real life. <laughs> that implies you go outside? What a fucking nerd. Christmas Town, Little Elves, Santa's Sleigh. Oh boy, oh boy. How does a bill become a law? Just slip a cup of hundred, you know? And by hunji, I mean hunji million. Honey, mummy and daddy love you very much, but apparently mummy loves child support payments more than she loves daddy. We're all standing up to cancer. Are you? <laughs> Who the fuck green with this? Who, who saw this and went, yeah, that's a great idea. We'll put a guy with a fucking wheelchair in there. It's really sad that so much of a society says, thank God it's Friday. Thank God five out of the seven days of my life is over. Now I'm going to spend two of those seven days drunk, so I don't have to think about the upcoming five-sevenths of my week. I'd like a book on suicide. Fuck off, you won't bring it back. My dad used to do a trick like this all the time, except instead of using pens, he drank heavily and beat my mum in front of us. I, I think I found my filter, I think that was a bit too dark. When your crush invites you out to eat. Just friends restaurant. Oh boy, what a... You gotta feel bad. You gotta feel bad for this lad. Just been stabbed. Where is the nearest hospital? <gasps> Where? My last bath bomb. <laughs> Fuck man, I need to get me one of these. Wanting to commit suicide. You can't defeat me! Therapy. I know, but he can. Mum would be sad. I found out a couple of days ago that working at a grocery store 33 years ago, my mother made more money per hour than I do. $10.25 versus $10. What's more, that $10.25 in 1985 at the buying power of $23.26 in today's money. I'm overdrawn by a dollar today. Cool world we live in. See, in Australia, our minimum wage is about, I think it's $20, $22, something like that. And uh, that I think that's about $17 American. But we like actually adjust our minimum wage every few years for inflation, so yeah. Now I feel like my wink was just underwhelming. Ha 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 ha, can't beat Rihanna. Tell that to Chris Brown. Do you think she ever replied? I would. That's great. Well, I mean, it's not great, but it's funny. I call him daddy because I know he's going to abandon me. Can't argue with that logic. She's cheating on you, man. I've seen her bring people here. Men people. Don't trust her. She's just playing with you. Aww. <laughs> he's jealous. Gets me every time. Wheelchair Foundation. Parents who don't vaccinate their kids should not be parents. Well, they won't be parents for long. Oh shit. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Especially with the once fought eradicated measles making a comeback in the US and in Australia. Feels good, man. Teacher when somebody is being bullied. Teacher when a kid being bullied fights back. Guys literally only want one thing, and it's fucking disgusting. I just want my dad to come back. Doctor, handing me my newborn baby. I'm sorry, but your wife didn't make it. Me, handing back the baby to him. Bring me the one my wife made. Please don't be sewing supplies. Please don't be sewing supplies. I don't actually think I've ever seen a box of those that, that didn't have fucking sewing supplies in it. You got a raise. Wow. Marry me? Sure. You got your PhD. Me too. That's depressing. I refuse to go into 2019 with 2018 problems. Shit, I'm going into 2019 with 2014 problems. You always think you're special until you have to pick a username. Not the belt. I usually base mine off traumatic childhood memories. Boy, she left me for a hybrid. I didn't even hear him coming. Oof, the amount of pun work in just three panels. It, it's impressive, it's impressive. Breaking news, seven shot at Florida nightclub. We found seven new jobs that may interest you. That's a bit, uh, fucked up. What's wrong with your arm? I got a flu shot yesterday. The government uses shots to inject nanobots to give everyone AIDS and autism. Wow, thanks for the warning, anti-vaxxer. You're gonna make a great recurring character for cyanide and happiness. Well, she's dead. Business. Hey, kid, do you want a nicotine addiction? Kid. No, what the fuck? Business. What if I make it taste like mango? 
kid. Well, now that's fucking six. Sign me up. <laughs>